This is the Horror Tech watch case press. It's the micro press with reference MSA 07110. It's a professional tool that makes it easy for watchmakers or watch collectors to replace snap on watch case backs with less risk of damage than certain other methods or perhaps machines. It comes with three reversible top dies and three interchangeable lower dies made from Delwin. Delwin looks and feels a little like other plastics, but is an engineering thermoplastic used for precision parts requiring high stiffness, low friction and excellent dimensional stability which although makes the dies harder and more durable under pressure than normal plastic retains the non-marking and non-burnishing characteristics of other plastics which is preferred over metal dies and so are less likely to damage a watch by marking it. You use the press with watch dial and glass down so you can see exactly when the back snaps on. So the first thing to do when using it is select one of the lower dies that will best support the watch case allowing you to apply pressure without any pressure being applied to parts that could be damaged, such as the glass, crystal or button. The lower die is slightly tapered and recessed in the centre. The slight taper serves two purposes. It makes it more likely that the watch is sitting on its bezel or case than its crystal or glass, but it also makes it self-centering, making alignment of the upper dies with the case back effortless and ensuring evenly distributed pressure will be applied between the two. You then need to select one of the reversible upper dies that will apply pressure to the outer edge of the case back. If you use a die that's too small and only apply pressure to the centre of the back you risk concaving it rather than snapping it on. The dies are easily fitted to the tool. The lower dies simply sit in place and the upper dies are friction fitted. Then to apply pressure you simply turn the handle. There are things you need to do to ensure the back goes on correctly, like line up any recess in the back with the stem, which this style of tool makes effortless, as you can apply just enough pressure to hold the back firmly in place in the position you intend to fit it, and then before applying any more pressure to snap the back on, you can move the tool, you can rotate it, you can even pick it up and inspect your positioning, and that the alignment hasn't moved when first applying pressure and levelling the back with the case. And you can do the same for any gasket present, Make sure they haven't moved or got caught in the position that they shouldn't or you didn't intend. So let's just repeat that.
Because you have fine control over the pressure, you can first of all check alignment. And then you only need to apply enough pressure to press the back on, and not too much pressure as to cause damage to the case or the glass. There are many lever type presses available. We have an old one here we use. The fundamental difference between the two styles is the way the pressure is applied. You're either screwing it down or levering it down. In my opinion the lever style tools are better for fitting glasses and crystals and the threaded tools are better for snapbacks. There are so many styles of watch and case there is always the odd exception but generally speaking we use the threaded type for fitting snapbacks and the lever type for fitting glasses. The first reason for this is by the very nature of snapbacks. They often require a fair amount of pressure applied to them and then just snap on. But when they snap into position there is a risk with the lever style that the sudden movement will make you jerk or lunge down with increased pressure at the very moment you can and should remove the applied pressure. Now I've often used them for fitting backs and there is no doubt they work but there is more risk that under certain circumstances they will be less forgiving than the screw down type and you will very likely break a glass or worse damage a case back. But I much prefer to use a lever type press to fit glasses. You get much more feedback through the handle than with a screw type which I find is important with glasses but not backs. With the lever type you can feel the glass sliding in. You get a much better sense of pressure and friction. I get a better sense of whether I've selected the correct size glass and a better sense of when it's in the case as far as it can go which I don't get with the screw down type. So my general advice would be that for fitting backs I prefer screw down type presses but for fitting glasses I prefer the lever style presses. But as I said earlier you will no doubt find exceptions. Comments are enabled so if you've found any exceptions or you simply disagree let everyone know and start a discussion in the comments below. This is a Swiss made tool and yes they cost more than Asian or Indian manufactured versions or copies but they are better quality which is a difficult thing to quantify in percentage terms unlike their cost as both are fit for purpose and because they cost three, five or even ten times more they are not necessarily three, five or ten times better but they are better. The ironic thing is as with most tools hobbyist amateurs and beginners you say they cannot justify the price are probably the most likely to benefit from the increased quality and the confidence that comes with it. Whereas highly experienced professionals would easily get by with cheap rubbish tools but obviously choose not to.